All right, so I did a video a couple months ago turning tofu into different types of cheeses. I kind of inspired myself when I did that video and started experimenting with a couple different cheese recipes using tofu. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make the cheapest vegan cream cheese you'll ever eat. Hey guys, I'm Candice the Edgy Veg. Welcome back to my channel. I make new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays and if you are not yet subscribed, you should hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out every single week. So I loved cream cheese before I went vegan. I love cream cheese now that I am vegan. There are some really, 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 really amazing brands out there, but the price point is just a little ridiculous. So if you buy like the ones that you know are gonna be the best, they can get really expensive depending on where you live or you don't have access to it whatsoever. So I wanted to create a cream cheese that gives you that nostalgic feeling, but doesn't cost $12. So using tofu, which is in my tofu press, and then some deodorized coconut oil, I'm going to whip up a really, really nice, easy vegan cream cheese with ingredients that most likely you already have in your home or ingredients that you probably, as a cooking person, already have on hand or pick up on the regular. All you need is a blender, tofu, deodorized coconut oil, lemon juice, miso, vinegar, some spices, and nutritional yeast. All right, to start with this tofu, the first thing I'm going to do is press my tofu. So I've done this. You don't need to press it for a long time. Just make sure if you're using something like this, like pour out the liquid on the side here. I just, this is my tofu press. You don't need something like this. It's not a huge deal because the moisture actually helps with the blending. I just try to get out as much water as possible. So I've just pressed this for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. But there's a bunch of different tofu presses you can order online or, you know, you can stack a bunch of stuff on top of it to get it out. I just find that every time I do that, it topples over and I end up smashing something in my kitchen. So that's why I got this guy. So this is our tofu. We're going to stick that in here. I mean, if you have a high speed blender, that's definitely preferred for this recipe, but you don't need it. You could just blend it for longer until you know there's no chunks or anything in it. I like using tofu for these recipes because first of all, it's nut free which is great for a lot of people out there. Also tofu has virtually no fat in it, which is also great because we're adding coconut oil, which is a fat and it's stupid cheap. This block of tofu was like $2. We are going to add miso paste. So again, miso, if you buy it in like the container, you may see it as like an expensive ingredient, but given you know how little you use in most of your recipes, it lasts a long time. And we're using just a little bit for it. And chances are, if you are cooking vegan food on a regular basis or just cooking on a regular basis, chances are you have this. You don't absolutely need it, but I definitely feel that it adds a really, really nice umami flavor to the cheese. And a lot of vegan cheeses lack umami flavor, so I like to add it. We are going to add nutritional yeast. Again, if you are cooking on a regular basis, chances are you already have this. But nutritional yeast is also like stupid cheap. For spices, we are going to use some onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and a little bit of dill. Now this won't make it super dilly. It just adds a nice tang to it. If you really hate dill, I I can never taste this as dill in the cheese, but if you really, really hate it, you can leave it out. And then of course you need some tang in your cheese. So along with the tang of the miso, we're also going to add lemon juice as well as apple cider vinegar. If you don't have apple cider vinegar, you can use like a white wine vinegar or rice vinegar as well. Just any sort of like neutral vinegar will do. And this makes a ton of cheese, so it's gonna last for a while. And it freezes nicely, and you can use it as different type. You, like you can add different ingredients to it and even make it like a dip or bake with it. You can use it the same way you would use any other cream cheese. We are going to start blending this, and while it's blending, we are going to pour in our oil. This is a little bit more than half a cup. I'm gonna start pouring in a quarter of a cup first and see the consistency and then keep going. You just need your Vitamix damper or like a spoon to push things down. Just don't get the spoon caught in the blades and then you know, you'll have a mess on your hands, but use this guy to really smush things down. To help it mix a little bit, if you're finding that it's just not mixing quick enough, you can always add a little bit of soy milk. I wouldn't add more than one tablespoon at a time and I would add it while the blender is still running. So we're going to do that now. So we have our 
cream cheese here. Now it is a little bit of a yellow tinge, which you will notice because of the herbs and also the nutritional yeast. So if you really want it to be like super, super white, you can definitely leave those out. But I end up always mixing mine with like herbs and things. And it's going to firm up even more in the fridge, which is great. But there you go. So this is like totally customizable to whatever flavor you wanna make it. I really like to also make like a strawberry flavored one. So you would obviously leave out the herbs and then add, don't come at me, but I like to add powdered sugar because it's nice and fine. So you, while you're blending it, you add powdered sugar and then afterwards you can smush in some like mashed strawberries and it's like a breakfast or sorry, a dessert cream cheese, which is really, really tasty. When doing this, your blender is going to warm it up a little bit because of the motor and the mixing of it, especially if you're using a Vitamix. So put it in the fridge right away to cool down definitely i probably should have addressed this earlier but deodorized coconut oil is also known as refined coconut oil all that means is that the coconut flavor and smell is taken out of it if you can't find it you can definitely use regular coconut oil but if you're really sensitive to the coconut flavor and smell your cream cheese is gonna smell kind of coconutty, and maybe you'll be able to taste it. I haven't really ever noticed, but I'm not sensitive to coconut. All right, so I've toasted a bagel here, and I think that we should just go ahead and spread it on. Super light and like fluffy, and it's only going to get like nice and whipped and fluffier once it hardens up a little bit. And like pair this with the carrot locks that I made the video on a couple months ago the recipes on my blog and like some of your favorite herbs and like you have just a super bougie but easy breakfast or brunch. That is how you make the easiest cream cheese, the cheapest cream cheese, but vegan. It's so good. The perfect amount of tangy and the texture is so whipped. It is a flawless dupe. Like I said, there's a couple different variations you can do with this. So if you do want to cut back on the kind of herbiness of it, just take the dill out. I would go half on like the garlic and onion. If you want to make it sweet, you can leave all of that out except for the salt and then add some powdered sugar and some berries and then you have like a nice dessert cream cheese and you can also make the tastiest and cheapest cream cheese icing. All right guys, I'm Candice, the edgy veg, and you made it to the end of another video. Amazing, good for you, good for me, we like food. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. I make new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. And let me know in the comment section below how you like to make your cream cheese, or do you like to buy it, or what recipe you wanna see next. Okay, bye.